I often hear people say that their computer's slow because they got too much stuff on their hard drive and that they feel that reloading their computer with their operating system will speed up their computer. Although partially true because what you'll do is you'll get rid of your plugins and stuff that you don't use on your various browsers and other tools, but it still has to load all the programs. This is how memory works in a computer. These will be your programs, this is your, your swap file, and this is your computer's RAM or short-term memory. So when your computer starts up, it's going to start loading things into RAM. So it'll load your kernel, load the graphics server, and then once you get in, you'll load your browser. I'll use this one for the browser. And then you'll you'll have various plugins that you'll load, like your weather, and then maybe you'll add another plugin, which is like some download tool or something like that. And then you can start loading your web pages. Okay. So as you can see, the memory is filling up quite fast. Now what happens, you want to edit a document. So you open up your document editor, and it's got, a, it's got nowhere to put this thing. So it needs to find more RAM. So what it does is it takes something from there existing, moves it over to the swap file, and this process takes a long time in a computer, and then it has room for your program. Now, you're editing your resume and, oh, you need to check something on the web. So, well, the web program's not in memory anymore, so it takes your document and then takes your web program so now you can use it. This swapping back and forth is what's slowing down the computer. So you've got two, two options. One, only open your web browser and then close your web browser when you're not using it, which will clear it out, clear out your web pages, your plugins, and now you can, uh, oh this would have been over here, now you can load your your document into memory and possibly maybe have a game running and that's how you would do it. You'd have to limit the amount of programs that you open up into active memory. The other option would be power down your computer which will dump all your programs back to the hard drive. And upgrade your memory. Now with bigger memory, you boot your computer, your kernel goes in, graphic server goes in, you can load your web page, your web browser, have a bunch of plugins. Load your document, you name it, you still got room to spare. The other thing that will happen with more memory is as you open programs, normally when you close a program, it dumps it out of memory and puts it back. But if you've got enough memory, especially in a Linux system, I'm pretty sure Windows does the same thing, um, when you close the program, it just marks this as inactive for use. So as long as you don't have too many programs in memory, it'll just keep it in there until, until you need it. That way, loading the program the second time will be twice as fast. So next time you find your computer being slow, check your memory usage. See what that, um, see how much memory you're using for all the programs and data you've got loaded. If it starts doing any swapping, it's a good sign that you need to upgrade your memory. That's it. Thank you.